I've been doing this research for about 12, thir actually going on almost 14 years for the water department a on a part-time basis. And the reason they want to hi they wanted to hire a historian because the, the history the history of the department is very important. It was one of the largest early waterworks in the, in the country. So this is just sort of a, a, a representation of, of a good number of the streams that would have once flowed on the surface of Philadelphia. And this is what we have left. So what does a waffle have to do with, uh, with city planning? Well, I'll help you think about it. Here's some streets. If you think of these um, waffle bridges as streets, that the city, as they were cutting and filling and creating the streets, was only responsible for doing the streets. They weren't responsible for these interior blocks that were privately owned. Cutting that land down or filling it up was the, was the responsibility of the private landowner. When, what happens when, you, when water or syrup falls in those, in those low ground? It fills up. It, there's no place for it to go. Uh, for as long as the city was expanding in this way into the 20th century, they were always dealing with these stagnant pools of water. Uh, in 1866, all the sewers in this neighborhood are emptying into this creek. That was the standard practice. The city engineer had, had written a report saying, we need to put Mill Creek underground. This is going to get polluted. We need to encourage development, so let's put it underground. And in 1869, they started doing that. This was supposedly the largest sewer in the world when it was built. So there were consequences for this kind of urban development. The first consequence is that if you build a hole in the ground out of brick or concrete, it's going to collapse eventually. And another consequence of building combined sewers, and especially when you're not treating the sewage, when you're just dumping raw sewage into your rivers and streams, uh, is disease and death. And, and I'm talking about human lives, and I'm talking about any life that's in the streams. The water department now has a, a, a big push. I think it was just this past June they finally signed on with the EPA and the EPA signed off on the plan to institute all sorts of green infrastructure in the city. The, the whole project is called Green City Clean Waters. And the, the clean waters part is the important part. I mean, roof gardens are another, another possibility. And this seems fantastic to me. Um, little by little, you know, I, I hope it happens. But if you go to my website, there's a lot of information. My email is on every page of the website, so if you have any questions that you didn't think of tonight to ask, please feel free to, to contact me.